Hey YouTube out here with an S-Wing machete. Yeah, did you know they make a machete? Who knew, right? This has a 12 inch blade length, but the edge length is 10 inches because of this big Ricasso. This is, uh, S-Wing uses mid-carbon steel on all of its blades. So if this is that same steel, it's 1055 mid-carbon. Made in the USA. It has a rubberized handle. Okay, but this is one solid piece of steel, and then it just has a thin coating of rubber as the grip. Now here is the sheath that it comes with. You see the sheath overlaps the guard and a little bit of the handle. It has a button closure on that cross strap there. All right, so that is the sheath, the sheath that it comes with. And here's a quick size comparison for you between two S-Wings. This is my beloved Riggers Axe. Okay, it's also sold as the Rig Builder Hatchet has two names, but it's basically like their carpenter's hatchet, but two inches longer. And yeah, I mean, I've used this for a lot of things. You can see it's kind of beat up. So yeah, the size comparison, uh, you know, basically the machete is slightly longer, slightly longer than the hatchet. This is a K-Bar Cutlass machete. You can see the S-Wing is noticeably longer than the Cutlass machete but noticeably shorter than the cold steel jungle machete. It's an interesting and unusual design, you know. Uh, judging by the length of it, I'd say its main task would be clearing brush, or its main, you know, the purpose of designing it this way. You know, it doesn't have a lot of reach. It's not really for clearing. It's not like a Latin machete. It's more kind of like the Woodsman's Pal in its mission, I would say. See it as these teeth on the back. These are not pointed. They're not pointed, if you can see. And they don't have edges. They don't have edges either, right? So these teeth are not gonna cut. They're not gonna cut with an edge or with a point. It's more like, you know, if you were to saw back and forth, you would just be kind of gouging out a notch into the wood, you know, just with friction. And you see the edge there. It's just a conventional edge. You know, it has an edge bevel and, uh, a V grind. This also has a coating, an anti-rust coating. As you can see, you know, I've already used this and test this out, right? So the coating, it wears away, wears away just like that. Okay, so you want to see this do something. Let's just chop up some scrap branches that I have. Okay, and before I roll in the chopping, I just want to show you that the wood I'm using, this particular batch, is extremely hard. This, this is hard as hell, to be honest with you. It's very weathered very dry. I don't know if you can tell by the sound, but you hit it and it just bounces right off. I mean, it's like hitting, it's like chopping into stone. Okay, so that's, this is gonna be a very good test just as far as the durability of this machete. Oh, <laughs> sorry for the background noise there. But yeah, this is gonna be a very good test because this stuff, it's pretty amazing. All right, let's roll that in. Okay, wow, I'm surprised that edge even survived because it is a fairly fine edge. I mean, compared to like an S-Wing hatchet, this is a much uh, finer edge. All right, and it looks like there's a nick there. That's not a nick. That's just, uh, you know, a piece of dirt that got embedded there, a piece of the bark from what I was chopping. But yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that this edge survived. 
So what do I think of the machete overall? Well, it's kind of an odd duck. I mean, the one-piece construction with like, a, you know, a solid metal handle with just rubberized grip around it, that's unusual. And the saw back that's uh, not, actually a, not actually a saw, it's kind of unusual. The guard, the circular guard, I mean, it's just kind of an odd duck. That doesn't mean it's bad, not at all. But, you know, I guess I would say it's up to you to find a use for it. I could do without the uh, spine like this. I would just like a straight spine. I can say the extra long handle is a very good idea because you can choke down and just swing away. Or if you choke up, um, it's counterbalanced. Okay, so it's less fatiguing and easier to manipulate. Is this going to replace the Woodsman's Pal as, a, as an epic brush clearing machete? I, I don't know. Probably not, but I have a lot of respect for Estwing in general, so I had to try this out. And yeah, I just wanted you to see this, you know? Alright, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.